right, here is a room update. Here's a beauty room update. So, here is the filming room update. So, pretty much I built this. So now, this is gonna be like an environmental backdrop. So on days that I want to not film with this here, I will be using this to film and I'll just switch the desk and like make it face this way so that I can get the natural lighting coming from outside. And now it's time to decorate it and like accessorize the crap out of it. I don't have many things for it, so I'm just gonna work as, work on decorating the center part because that's the part that you guys will see. But I'm going to do all that, but it's like 12 at night. And I still gotta build my bed frame, so yeah, I'll give you guys a little update tomorrow. But I did move the desk all the way to the windows. I don't know how I feel about the curtains yet. I might want something lighter for the summer. I like them, but I don't love them. I like them more for like the winter slash fall time, not so much the summer, so I might end up keeping them. Switch them out to like a light blush or like a light, light pink, and that way it'll let in more light. Um, but yeah, I got it because it matches the rug perfectly. It has like the same color scheme, but maybe I can get like a soft blue or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I moved um, the mirror. So I moved the mirror. It's now in this corner. So it's like the entryway and I moved this little guy here, put the steamer, all my PR mail which I still gotta open and then here is the backdrop. Then behind the backdrop is the closet and like all the stuff that goes with filming. So I like it so much better. It looks so pretty and like more bigger because now there's like a bunch of like walking space to like walk in and I like the idea of pushing this all the way to the back because that way nobody passes through here and nobody knocks on the camera when the kids are here. Um, I didn't really let them go in this room because of the equipment. I had it all the way out so now no one has to walk through here and there's plenty of walking space and it just makes the space look so much bigger. So I absolutely love the way the filming room is coming. Hey guys, along. welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different from what you guys are used to seeing. Today, I'm going to be spring cleaning. So, I am pretty much, obviously, if you follow me, you know that I just moved. I recently moved about a month ago, and I'm still trying to figure things out, trying to get things in order, trying to get my life together. The video you guys saw before this one was me emptying out, like, what the storage, what was the storage room. And that had all my clothes and all my shoes. That was a hot mess so no judging there i know it's like really crazy and what you guys are about to see where i put my shoes is even more crazy but we're gonna get it together i'm going to declutter my shoes this time around because i was decluttering my clothes i got rid of a lot of stuff that i was not even using so i got rid of some of those stuff i donated it and now it's time to do the shoes I have shoes that I haven't worn for years and they're still in my collection. So as you saw, I just built my closet, which is going to be the shoe closet for now, for the time being. Um, that's going to be the shoe closet, which is right here. And then I'm going to empty out the closet of where the shoes are currently. And then we'll just declutter and get my life together. Okay, so this is going to be the shoe closet pretty much, which is right here. I'm not sure if I'm combining them. I'm not really sure if I'm doing this as two separate videos. If I already showed this, then okay, you guys already saw it. But if this is a new video, just wanted to give you guys an overview of the shoe closet for now. In the previous one, I actually got these shelves. I had them upstairs in the attic. I didn't even know I had these shelves before. So I'm going to just put like the, fan the not fancier shoes because I didn't got no Louis Vuitton or anything like that, but just like the heels and all that stuff. I'm going to put them here. I do need to wipe this one down though because it is looking very dusty. And then I just put some hooks here for the time being. This will be where my uh, guest, ooh, this will be where my guest um, coats or like jackets or whatever for now because, you know, I'm not really having that many people over and it's summertime anyway. So I just put these cute um, hooks here and they've actually been coming in handy. So I put that there, so again, here's a quick overview. Turn on the lights, here's a little quick overview of the space. I also went to Ikea, I picked up some more shelves because I did want to add as many shoes as possible, so that's something I need to do as well. Crap, I just, ugh, I don't wanna do this. It's so hard, like, getting everything, like, evenly. Like, it looks easy, but it's not, it's, like, difficult. So now I have to add in six more shelves, so two in each shelf. 
to hold more shoes. So wish me luck on that. Gonna get rid of this. But before doing that, let me just show you guys real quick where all my shoes are because it's a mess. So in here, my bedroom, I got my bed frame built finally because it took 10 years. And then this is the mess. You can't even see anything. It's like so bad in here. Let me open up the windows. It's honestly so bad in here. Like this is where my shoes is. Like you can't even see anything. It's terrible. I want to color cord color categorize the clothes that's up here. Um but I'm not sure I'm going to do that today. That might be like a separate video to like organize the clothes, but today's mission is the shoes and all of this is ridiculous. So I'm going to take out the shoes and then I'm going to lay them out in order here. That way it's just easier to put on the shelf when I'm doing it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, much better. Can you guys see me better? Ugh. This is a struggle. Okay, great. You can see me? Cool. Okay, so I do have an attic upstairs, right? So what I'm thinking about doing, because the attic is big and it has a closet inside there too, like a walk-in closet, kind of like, Kind of like the one in the, in the sala, but it's a little bit bigger. So I'm thinking I can put like my winter boots there because I'm not going to be wearing them for a while. And that way I can have more space. So I'll just put like my summer shoes out. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me take out the boots first. I'm going to, um, that takes up the most space. I have boots here that I have not worn in forever. I don't know why I still have them. But let's do it. So I have separated all of my boots and I don't understand why I have so many black boots like who needs all these black boots like legit and then ow that was my knee <laughs> my knee just cracked and then look at the very few colors of boots so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do I need to get rid of some ugly ones because I've had some for years for example exhibit a where are you this pair right here I've had for Gee, I don't know years. They're just messed up. They gotta go So those are going goodbye Um, I have a lot of knee-high ones because I really do like black knee-high boots um These are like the two recent pair that I've gotten I need to clean them because I really kind of wore them out Um, and then this one is like my all-time favorite too because it has like the little floral de floral design So I love that when I just want to wear like a basic outfit that adds a little bit of print to it. Um, these, oh, these have the little gold detail on the bottom. So I do like those and I want to keep them. Um, as far as ankle boots, I just got these from my sister. She gave them to me, but they're actually like, they kind of hurt my feet. I don't know. I'm going to try to open them up a little bit. And if they continue to hurt my feet, I'm going to get rid of them. These, I am getting rid of these because these give me blisters in the back here. For some reason, the way it just sits on my ankle, it gives me a blister. And these are the only ones that are like leather, pleather, whatever you want to call it, um, booties. But I just don't like that they give me blisters. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, and then I got this, which I actually never wore. I don't know why I never wore it, but... I just got it last winter, so maybe I'm going to wait to see. If I don't wear it next winter, then they're going goodbye. So I'm going to see what's going to happen with that. Um, What other black boots do I not need? Because I have so many. I have these twice. Oh, no, I don't have them twice. Do I have them twice? Oh, no, I don't have them twice. But they look the same. They literally look exactly the same. Except for one has the brown bottom and then one has the black bottom. So I think I'm going to get rid of the one with the black bottom because these are also very worn out. Kind of. Kind of worn out. Like, should I get rid of these? Should I, should I? Because then I also have these. But these also hurt my feet. Like, these I cannot stay with them on for too long because 
the way they are like I don't know they really arch up really high and they kind of hurt my feet I have to wear them again I haven't worn them in a really long time so I need to go ahead and wear it again to like refresh my memory but I'm not sure I don't know if I should keep both of these oh actually I am gonna keep it you know why because this one is pointy and this one is more round so that kind of gives a different look to the outfit pointy round okay so I'm gonna keep these I'm going to clip them okay so I think I'm doing okay I got rid of two what else should I get rid of I just got these um kind of you can kind of wear these for the summer ish I don't know how I feel about them to be honest I got them because I was looking for a farm outfit and I thought that would be cute with some like little booties and then didn't work out so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that and then over on this side these I'm gonna try again to stretch them out if not they're going goodbye and then these I've actually never worn them I don't know who got these for me I think it was a gift I don't know how I feel about them, if I like them, if I love them. But they're like the only navy blue booty ones that I have. And then these are like knee highs. I love this one right here. This is like my favorite knee high pair that is not black. I love this color. It's beautiful. And this one, I think I wore like once or twice. I also do like this one. And those pretty much could stay there because I don't really have much color ones. And I do like these because these are very different as well so I think that's I think I'm gonna stay with everything else like I have so many different pairs but they all look different to me <laughs> they look a little different um but yeah I think that's good so I'm gonna keep this here we made a little progress and now I can actually see the bottom of the floor so now I'm gonna go into heels or actually let's do the sneakers six minutes to you guys I have an obsession with white sneakers because I think it just goes with every outfit and I'm, I dress very basic like if you can tell like on my Instagram if you see like my outfits they're very basic like I stay with like neutral colors black white green like I don't really step out of my comfort zone which I really want to start doing but for the most part I wear very basic colors and like all that stuff so the point of the story is I always end up buying new white sneakers whenever I want them to look brand new. Instead of just washing them or cleaning them, I just get the quicker way out and I'm like, oh, this outfit will look nice with white sneakers. My white sneakers are dirty. Let me just buy a new pair. So it ends up piling up. I got a couple H&M ones which <laughs> got to go because they're just really ugly and you can tell they're from H&M. Like they look very cheap. So I do want to get rid of those and just keep like the more you know like the better ones better quality so like for example the adidas ones but look how dirty it is well it doesn't really translate on camera but it's pretty dirty and it needs to get cleaned comment below if you have like any ideas on how to clean white sneakers because i still have not been able to nail it and i love white sneakers so please let me know how do you guys clean your white sneakers so i don't have to be buying a new pair every time so all of the shoes are inside and surprisingly guys i have a bunch of space still left let me put these shoes on these are not even my shoes but let me put them on because my toes are cold but yeah surprisingly i still have a bunch of space left so i originally put just the shoes that were out here and i had like this entire shelf empty so i went to get some of the booties and the boots um that were in the room and I just left the knee highs because I know knee highs are not going to look nice here so I'm going to leave those in the attic since I'm not going to be using those anytime soon but I love the way everything turned out I did the gradients from blacks to navies to brown and then more chestnut colory and then some cheetah and then random colors and then the nudes and then the whites i did take out a few more pairs of shoes that i know i'm not going to be wearing and i can just clean them and probably donate them or just get rid of them because they're kind of old and of course that pair of converse right there which i'm not gonna be wearing All right this is the final result and i love it so 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 much i ended up putting my knee highs up here just so that every all of my shoes are at the same place 
and I love the way everything turned out. It's just so organized and easy for me to just come in here and see what shoe I'm going to wear. It's color, color categorized. So it's just easy for me to like just pick out shoes. So that concludes this video. I am so tired, you guys. I've been here for like two hours trying to organize this. Legit. Like it's been a couple hours and I'm like dead. It's like 12 o'clock. Like it's like 12.30 right now and I'm ready to go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and organizing my closet with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.